All right, guys, black is here. All right, check this out. How do I feel about Lil Nas X? Okay. I love Old Town Road. I love... I think I like the newer song better. Um, what's the song? What I Want, or is it What I Want, or How I Want, or whatever that new song. He's playing on the football field. Okay, I like that song. The only problem I have with it is I wish it was longer. You know, I've noticed a lot of the uh, artists today are making these short songs. To me, a song should be at least three minutes long. Okay? But anyway, that's the only problem I have with the song. And I've been wondering, you know, I, I've been saying that I wish somebody would come out with a Brokeback Mountain 2. I've been saying that. And they should be truck drivers. I wonder why I believe they should be truck drivers. Anywho, I I don't know Little Nas X. I've never met him before. But when I lived, when I lived in the apartment complex, I had a neighbor who was real, real close friends with the family. Um, she had pictures of her when he was younger and she told me that everybody pretty much known the boys was gay, you know, pretty much knew. But anyway, okay. The fingernail polish, the dress, the makeup, all that kind of stuff. I mean, I'm not into that. I wish he wasn't into that, but I mean, the man is he do what he want to do. I mean, that's what gay people do. They do what they want to do. They do how they feel. You know, you know, a lot of people try to say that, you know, straight, straight people like to pretend that straight people or straight men are real men and gay men are not or less than is actually the opposite. You know, real is in here. Okay, real is when you can do something and not hide, hide it from the world. That's real. Okay, Lil Nas X does what he do and he's not hiding it from the world. So in my book, he's real. You know, I took care of a son that wasn't mine. All right. His mother knew I was gay or bi. His family knew that I was gay or bi. He had an uncle that sort of had a problem with that. And he, he, he raised concern. You know, why are you letting my nephew go spend a weekend with a bisexual man? That's not his father. Why are y'all doing that? And his, his, my son, grandmother stood up for me and said that, Adrian is more of a man than his real father is. You know, I remember one Christmas, I was at the family house and there was a knock on the door and I went to answer the door and I see this tall, light-skinned guy looking like he has a drug problem. And I was like, uh, yeah, can I help you? And he was like, I'm here to see such and such. I'm such and such father. And such and such, the little boy I was taking care of, uncle heard this and said, I don't want to call his name, but he said, Marcus' father is already in the house. He's talking about me. The point I'm making is this. Stray guys want you to believe that if you have sex with women, you are a real man. If you have sex with men, you are less than. It's not true. It's not even true. A man is when you can take care of yourself when you can take care of your obligations. Now, what I mean by that is if you are a 14 year old kid and you can take care of whatever you obligated to take care of, you are a man. Okay. If you are a 21 year old man and you take care of yourself and if you have kids, you take care of your kids, you are a man. Okay, when you are 30 years old and you not taking care of your family, okay, you're not taking care of your kids, you're not taking care of your obligations, 
even though you have sex with nothing but women, you're not a man. You're not real in my book, okay? That's what I did. I took care of my obligation. I was taking care of a kid. The kid, the kid, he needed a father, okay? He needed a man to show him how to be a man. Sexual preference wasn't even necessary. He was too young for that, okay? I, I kept the gay thing from him. I never dated men in front of him. And if I did go pick up a man, the guy looked straight and we never did anything to make him think that it was gay. He thought he was a friend of mine. As a matter of fact, when he was, I think, 13 or 14, he called me one time and was like, Pop, uh, are you gay? And I was like, uh, yeah. He was like, really? Turns out his older brother had told him and he didn't believe it. But the point I'm making is this. You know, people are afraid of, straight people are afraid of gay people taking over. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let me explain that to y'all, right? They're not actually straight people. They are straight people who have gay thoughts. Little Boosie is one of them, okay? He has gay thoughts. That's the reason why he's so afraid of Little Nas X. It bothers him. It, it, it makes him uncomfortable. And he ain't the only one. There's a lot of people out here like that. I had a friend... When I used to steal cars, about 17, 18 years old, I had a friend, okay? At the time, I called him my best friend, okay? And I found out that he was afraid of gay people. And at the time, I was bisexual, okay? But I, for some reason, I thought that if he hung out with me, got to know me, and when I come to him, he would at least be comfortable. Even if he didn't mess around, he would be comfortable. I thought we could be friends. You know, I thought he could be that one person with a gay friend. Well, as soon as he found out I was gay, he wanted to do with me. This was my so-called friend. But I'm going to tell you something. My so-called friend told me one time. He was trying to figure out why I was attracted to men when there was all these women out here. He said to me, Whenever I feel gay, I go out and have relations with a woman. And at the time, I was about 18 when he told me this. And I didn't think much about it. And I, I, when I got older, I was telling somebody else what he had said. And they said to me, why would a straight guy feel gay? And then it hit me. Why would a straight guy feel gay? Then I started thinking. Is that the reason why you have so many guys out here who are trying to have sex with every woman in town? Is it because when they're not having sex with a woman, they start to feel a little gay? Is that it? I think so. You know, I had a dream a couple nights ago. I can't tell y'all what I dreamed about, but it, it has something to do with Country Wayne. All right. That's all I'm going to say. I can't tell you the rest of it, but anyway, this particular dream, um, I would never act on it. I would never act on this dream, but it was still a dream and it, it doesn't bother me because I've had dreams like this before, you know, it doesn't bother me at all. Cause I mean, I know I'm not going to do it. So, but when a straight person, when a so-called straight person have a gay dream, it scares the hell out of them because they are afraid it's going to come true. It scares the hell out of them. You know, I remember I had a roommate when I was in prison, right? He knew I was gay and I had came on to him several times, but he told me he wasn't. So I, I didn't force the guy, you know? Well, all of a sudden one night I'm, laying in bed, he wakes up, jumps up, and looks at me like he ready to kill me. I'm like, the hell is wrong with you? Talking about he dreamed that I forced myself on him. And it just felt so real. Anywho, I don't worry about it.
Because think about it. I mean, I don't know. I dreamed about killing somebody, okay? But I didn't do it. And I don't worry about killing anybody because I'm not that kind of person. Yes, I had a dream. I killed somebody. But again, I'm not that kind of person. So it doesn't really bother me. It was a dream, you know? But again, dream scares the hell out of so-called straight people. And that's the reason why Lil Boosie is so afraid of Little Nas X. He's thinking about that. This re I said before, that's the reason why he got all them kids. He trying to, he trying to make people think he's straight. Did you hear about uh what is his name? Willie, Willie D on YouTube. He was talking about a guy somewhere in some uh, foreign country, uh, Latin speaking country. He was a rapper, 22, 23 year old rapper. He was in a hotel room having a threesome with another guy and a female, okay? There was a knock on the door. <clears throat> he thought it was his wife. Willie said he jumped out the window, but later he said that the guy was trying to climb from one balcony to another balcony and he slipped and fell and died. You know, he probably had KY on his hand. <laughs> you know, it's kind of hard to hold on to something when you got KY on your hand. But anyway, the guy had a whole bunch of tattoos. I mean, he got tattoos all over his face. You know, the guy, if you see the guy, you think, who he's hard. Look at all the tattoos. I've been saying to myself that um, tattoos don't mean you hard. Tattoos mean you're trying to portray that you are hard, you know? That's all. That's always been what tattoos were. They were designed to make men look tough. You know, guys in the military, they got tattoos because they want to look tough. A lot of guys get tattoos now, again, because they want to look tough, and a lot of them ain't tough. No. But anyway, that's all I got to say. There's some other stuff I forgot to say, but... Mainly, that's what I wanted to say. Little Boosie can't stand Little Nas X because Little Nas X reminds him of his dreams. This is Dre. Y'all have a good day. Bye.